Hi, uh, today we're going to discuss how to debug your code um, in SQL. Uh, as you know, after uh, SSMS or SQL Management Studio uh, 18, they have removed the debugging option. So well, let's see how we can debug our code. In order to do that, I created a stored procedure, a simple one named get customer sales which brings the uh, sale for every customer so it just loops over the customer and gets the sale for every customer very simple stored procedure as you can see over here my main select statement to loop through the customers and the one that brings all the sales for every customer could have been resolved by a simple select statement but since we want to see how we can get into our code and see what's going on, then I create it as a stored procedure. If you're getting like a division by zero, unexpected results, and you want to step into your code to see what's going on. So I'll uh, just run my statement in uh, Management Studio. Very simple one, customer ID, total sales for customer ID number one, customer ID number two, total sales for customer ID number two, and so on. As I said, it's a very simple statement. So uh, Visual Studio, uh, you can download the Community Edition, which is for free, and it gives you the option to debug your code as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our server name. going to start to connect to our database from the management uh, from the visual studio I'm going to select my database that i'm going to run my code against you can right click create your uh, new query window Make sure that you are connected to the right database and let's get our command and run it from there that's our uh, debug menu and then you can right click within your uh, query window and then execute with debugger or you could have just used alt f5 so once you do that, start running the program, you have several uh, options. You can step into your code or step over your code. As you can see, there are shortcuts over here, F11, F10. So if you want to get inside the code, so if you're having a store procedure inside the store procedure and you want to skip that, you can use F10. If you want to step inside every single procedure, then you can use F11. Since we want to step into our stored procedure, I want to see my code, then I used F11 on my keyboard. I fetched my first record. So now if I hovered over my customer ID, I can see the first value that was returned. As you can see, by just hovering over your uh, variables, you can get the value. As well, you can use the immediate window at the bottom of the screen from the tabs over there so if the immediate window does not uh, display for you so you see from the tabs in the bottom of the screen command window exception settings and so on you can select your immediate window and then by just typing question mark customer id then you can get the value of every variable that you have similarly uh, since i passed the total sales you can type question mark total sales and then see the value of the total sales. By doing that, you're stepping through your code, you're seeing the variables, you're seeing where the code is breaking, and you are able to investigate your uh, issues. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any question. Thanks for watching uh, the video and looking forward for uh, your comments. Thank you.